so what do we have? We will start OS, and here we declare a port. So feed region. So here we have the port with the variable S, and P is the port. And then we browse the port. You can see it here, the port. So now we can see the stream S. And you can see here the stream is a future. This means it is um, a read-only form of variable. You can only bind it through a send operation. Okay. Then we are going to enter this region. What does it do? For every element in S, that is a port, we are going to browse that element. But if the element is a pair, we are going also to do something more. We come back to it. So let us feed that. Feed region. We did that, and that is fine. Now let us use the port to send some message. Let us send the message A. You can see it here. Let us send A one more time. So you can see now that, that the stream associated with the port is being incremented. We do it one more time. You can see it here. Then we can send the B. So BR is arrived to the end of the stream here. And now we will declare a variable, a new variable. That's R and browse it. Feed region. Now we have are declared. Now look to this now. What we are saying, if the element we receive in the stream is of this form, then we bind the variable there to a value. This is like sending back a result on to the sender of that message on a data flow variable. And that's what we're going to do here. So you, we we have seen here R is here, it's unbound. Now once we bind it, oh you can see here that it became OK, means that here the receiver bind the variable to OK and it also appears in the stream.